from God its righteous judgment upon sin. But God says, Come now and let us reason, saith the Lord. That is the mouth of God speaking to you. The mouth of God proclaims, Come, and that's reason. Come, I'll sit down with you with this Bible. I'll open this Bible. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet. That's a stain that can't come out. That's like that wine or blood stain. No matter what you do, it won't come out. You take it to the dry clearance. I can't get rid of it. Sorry. It's not as bad, but there's still a stain. My, sta my sin stain may not be as dark as your sin stain, but it's still a sin stain. No matter what color it is. It's a stain. And you ain't going to wear a stain before a wedding or a big party. A stain is a stain. All have sinned and come the short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And because you are a sinner, you got a stain. And God will not allow stain saints in heaven. You got to be clean. You got to be made right. And the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, is that cleansing agent. That I read in 1 John 1, 9. You've got to come to God as a sinner, not as a worker. You've got to come to God in righteousness and not as a laborer. So he says, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white, as white as snow. Snow is the purest white that you can find this planet under a cursed corn planet in Genesis 3. That has not been touched by snow clouds. That has been touched by shovels. The snow that when the sun shines upon it, it sparkles. It has not been defrayed by animals. Pure, white, clean, which came from God. God made the snow. Yesterday, the first day of spring, it snowed in New England. God made that snow. Go ahead, keep on saying global warming. And God will just put the thermostat down and make you as a fool. The Bible records that God laughs at foolishness. But God can make you clean as white as snow because you are stained. You are stained with sin. And no sin can come in the presence of a holy God. When God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. And you cannot come before God being stained with sin. That's right. Oh, praise God, I want to speak with you. Your sins have separated you from God, and you think your works are going to work. God don't take cash, check, or money orders. God takes His precious blood of His Son. The gospel that Christ died for your sins was buried according to the Scriptures and arose again the third day. That believing upon Him by faith and receiving Him as your Savior can make you white as snow. And make you enter into the presence, the holy presence of God into eternity. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. <clears throat> and Peter says that Jesus Christ is the great shepherd. We are those who have believed his sheep. 
The shepherd cleans the sheep. Sheep cannot clean themselves. Sheep are one of the animals that cannot clean themselves. They have to be cleansed by the shepherd. The wages of sin is death. Death is coming. My time is, is about to end, but I'm here to tell you before I leave. Death is coming. Let me say that again. Death is coming. It may come today for some of you. Your time, the Bible speaks of, is as a vapor. Your death may come today. And then, upon death, eternity begins. Eternity has no time. Eternity is eternity. If you wake up in hell burning, you will burn for all eternity. And you need not. You don't have to go to hell. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and die and wake up in glory. By receiving the gospel, the Christ that died for your sins can wash away your sins. Put in your faith and trust in God. For God so loved the world. God loves you. That He gave His only begotten Son. You know, there's a religion out there that kills people. They are chopping off their heads. They are bombing churches. They are doing everything to shed blood. But Christianity under Jesus Christ, God shed His blood. God don't want you to shed human blood. He already shed the blood of His Son that you may have life. That's the difference between the Bible and religion. Man wants blood, and God shed the blood for man. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that's Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's your choice. I have turned the light bulb on. I have shared with you the gospel. I have told you what you need to do. I have told you what happens when you don't do what God tells you to do. The free will choice is to be made by you. Rest assured, upon your death, you will enter eternity. Heaven, by the precious blood of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, or by hell, rejecting the gift of God. Heaven, by the precious blood of the Lamb of the Lord Jesus Christ, a Lamb without spot, without blemish, hell, any way you want to go, anything you want to do, Anything but Jesus Christ for hell.